Yo, what's up guys, Bajira here, back at it again with another gaming news video. This time, we're talking about Dragonflight, and particularly, talking about um, an article from Game Rant, which, again, I don't necessarily fully agree with, but I do believe it brings up an interesting position that I would like to get your thoughts on, and of course share with you as well. So, in this article from Game Rant, the suggestion is that content was lacking for a long time with World of Warcraft back in Shadowlands, but now with Dragonflight we're seeing the complete opposite. As we saw and talked about earlier with the roadmap, we're now getting uh, new content for World of Warcraft Dragonflight every eight weeks. But that sort of brings to some people's mind the question, is that too much? Is it actually too much content? Because World of Warcraft has never seen this much stuff added throughout the lifetime of an expansion, and as a result of this, it can be a bit overwhelming. Especially if you are sort of not playing like super hardcore and you kind of come back and then you have a whole other like area to explore or quests to try to do and you have to kind of sort through them. It can be a bit much for some people. So we're seeing new events thrown into the Dragon Isles every few months and even uh, with small patches in between the bigger ones. This leads to an Azeroth that the people over at Game Rant have called Littered. You would think that this consistent release of content would be great for WoW players, keeping subscribers logging in day after day. However, with a large number of things to do, currencies to collect, and systems to keep up with, it's become overwhelming for certain players. Fair enough. Uh, even with opening up the map, players are flooded with event notices. The chance that their quest log uh, becomes filled to the max with new stories is more likely to happen. And it, quote, feels impossible to figure out what is actually worth their time. I can sort of see that, because as a PvP player, None of that stuff matters at all. You just log in, get your gear, and do arena, uh, or do RBGs, or whatever. Or if you're Mythic Plus, maybe some of those things matter, but I think a lot of that comes with, like, grinding the currency for your gear. I think a lot of that stuff is just sort of extra or catch-up, maybe. But if you're a noob, or out of the loop, I mean, you could feel like, am I supposed to do all this? And I can understand where they're coming from with that. For the average player, there's just not enough time in the day to interact with all this content. Although I don't know if that's necessarily even the intention for the content for you to have to interact with it every day. But this could potentially lead uh, to some burnout early on in the game due to them being overwhelmed, perhaps. So I guess the question that this article raises for me and something that you guys can answer in the comments below is, did Blizzard go too hard on the content release schedule? For me, this is actually coming from a position of someone who hasn't played a ton of Dragonflight recently. I went really hard in Season 1, but I do check in on it in Season 2 for every now and then. And yeah, they're, they're constantly releasing these new big events, but my understanding every time they have a new event come out is it's literally just intended to give you a way to catch up on gear, or get mounts, or get pets. So it's like ultra casual stuff, and there's like no like requirement for you to interact with this at all. Which is a big change from some of the expansions of the past, which I actually enjoyed a lot, where it was like, Yes, the daily grind that you do actually makes your character stronger. Whereas with Dragonflight, it's really kind of just for fun or to catch up or to help you level alts. I think that's been like the sort of main focus of Dragonflight as I've seen it is this expansion is designed for there to be hardly anything to actually grind. And you can just basically level your characters, get them geared up through catch up mechanics, and then go to work doing whatever it is that you want to do in the end game, which is could be PvP, Mythic Plus, raiding. And then, of course, if, if you are, like, a, a mount collector, pet collector, you're probably in heaven with the ability to get all these things, uh, transmog collection, to get all these things from these events that are popping up. But I think from the answer that I would provide to Game Rant is, like, do you have to do this stuff? No. <laughs> Just level your character, get gear, and go do whatever it is that you want to do. But the fact that there are other things to interact with... If you're not somebody who just wants to push endgame content, I think that's a good thing. I think it keeps the world feeling alive, it keeps it feeling vibrant, at least that's the idea. But, from the perspective of a casual player who doesn't log in very often, does log in every once in a while, gets overwhelmed, that's feedback, that's important to hear. I personally enjoy it when there is daily grind to do that keeps me logging in, but it does have to actually make my character more powerful or I end up not really feeling like doing it. Um, that's just kind of my perspective as someone who has been playing the game a long time and is all about damn gains. But I do want to hear what you guys think about this topic. Is World of Warcraft putting in extra stuff? Does it make you feel like the world's more vibrant or does it make you feel overwhelmed and not really sure what to do? That's a position that, like I said, I'm interested in hearing more about. If you guys are interested in seeing more of my gaming news videos, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe. Enabling notifications is great as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.